Welcome back to Satisfactory. In this episode, uh, my plan is to build the basic petroleum products. But before we go ahead and do that, I have picked up a hard drive. So we have uh, some alternate blueprints that we can uh, choose from here. Recycled rubber. Oh, that doesn't seem very uh, interesting. I don't know what the, uh, the six. See here, I actually have the recipes written down. Polymer resin. Polymer resin is usually a byproduct from uh, fuel production. No. Yes, it is. A lot of these, I think I'm going to go with the polymer resin recipe. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use it, but uh, out of these three options, that is definitely the one that uh, might be most useful. No idea if it actually will be useful. Also, some of my commenters uh, uh, very helpfully told me that the geyser power plant thing is down here in one of these nodes uh, at the bottom of the Caterium tree. That of course means that we need uh, plastic production first so we can get down here. But with that out of the way, I've picked up the things that I believe I need so that I shouldn't have to go back to the um, main base. I've also built a new path out to the um, oil area. And there's been a patch. They have patched the respawn rates of things, but as always, when things are patched, stuff respawn. Oh, I even had stuff respawning inside my base. But no longer should, should being the keyword, uh, bees like this one respawn as often as they do. As long as there are working machinery nearby, it shouldn't respawn. Here's a boss thing. I think it's fallen down from up there. Here's the uh, little glass road that I've built out to the uh, refinery area. Quite happy with this. Need to uh, fix the uh, power lines, but uh, that can wait. So... This probably won't be the entire area. I might have to expand this area, but uh, particularly because of these... Uh, geez, look at all those wasps. These uh, rock formations here. But I might just do uh, a multi-story refinery area. Okay. So the initial plan is to build... Um, three refineries that make plastic and three refineries that make rubber so that we get a total of 60 of each of those. Hopefully those wasps over there won't bother me. Now the refineries, they require a rather hefty amount of um, power, like 50 each. So, thank you. Um, I've been doing some calculations on that. And, yeah, I'll get back to it when, um, when we are at that specific stage. Uh, let's build the um, other six refineries over here. Oh, sorry, other three refineries over here. Have I built them? No, that won't do. 
You're supposed to be online. Build one so I get the, the green line all the way. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. One, two, you go away. And three. Now let's set these up to produce the things that they're supposed to produce. I think it's this one. Takes crude oil, 30 per minute. Creates 20 uh, rubber parts per minute and 10 heavy oil residue per minute. I think I got this right. And here we're going to make plastic, which is 20 plastic per minute and 20 heavy oil residue per minute. My main concern is whether or not I have enough power for this, because by my calculations I'm going to be spending 715. So I might have to disconnect part of the factory. Uh, if something starts producing in the factory and this bumps up to uh, 425 is the spike here. So that's 1100 as long as it doesn't go above 485 yeah it should be fine but i will be producing some power out of this process um now these refineries only require oil currently and we need 30, 60, and obviously then 90 oil. Let's go ahead and uh, build a stackable pipeline. I uh, hear the wasps. Let's build that there. We need to jump down because I would like these pipes to be in alignment as per usual. Now with the pipes, I believe that they have to be two away and not just one away. One, two, three. Uh, and let's see if that pipeline connects. Actually, I would like the other one, as in I would like the lower pipe to go in, so that I can go below the pipe here. Can't car there. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. You know what? What I want to do is actually move the uh, pipelines up one level. Yeah, yeah. Flat. There, and then this connects to the top. Not that way. Like that. And this one connects to the bottom one. Well, it would be... Um, no, this is correct. I'm confusing myself. That happens occasionally. I'm sure, that is much amusement to uh, certain viewers. There we go. And I 
think that one then connects to there. And this pipe would connect to... Ah. Uh, okay. So, it's not supposed to be two away. It is like a regular... Um, uh, conveyor belts then. Be one. Yep, that makes a straight angle. Then we connect a pipe from there to there. Hope that is straight. Yep. I don't know why I haven't just built ramps on both of these, but... Also, one thing that is... Uh, this is just a generic tiny tip. You can actually do that. If you want to, if you want to get it up, and you can just continue upwards. Let's go with that by a pure accident. But it is a useful little thing. Uh, now, I want that to go down. Uh, That's not nice. It's not supposed to snap to the middle of the machine. It's supposed to snap to the... Eh, and I have to redo it. A bother. How do I do this? As usual, I wanted it to be... Straight and orderly. So this one should be here, I think. Yep, that is a perfect bend. Need to get used to the pipes. It's a very different uh, style from what I'm used to. Get it like that. This is straight. That looks odd. Does this look the same? No. So it's supposed to be one more away. No, it is straight. Then I can remove this. And I can build a pipe between these. And I can build a junction cross. Which would have been very useful if it actually snapped, you know? That doesn't look straight. No, it isn't. Why don't that snap? Ah. Does it snap if I just place it in mid-air? does but is it like is it sufficient i wonder it should be there then so does that make a straight pipe to that one as a matter of fact it does well then Of course, then I have to be there. Go inside by one. Not the power line, please. It's not necessarily a good idea to build the power lines by the um, uh, supports because you will run into uh, the power line being in the way which can occasionally be annoying but uh, 
probably most annoying because of my meticulousness. Which I think we can all agree upon the fact that it is excessive. Okay, so this gives me the opportunity to walk underneath. Good. I might have to build pumps. Have to wait and see. Okay, now I'm gonna build some pipeline supports just so I get the uh, snapping right here. Good, good, good. One, two, three, four, five. I think that should. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it is actually. Never mind. Never mind me. Didn't say anything. So, and let's just do that little funky thing, so that I get it down on the uh, level where I want it. Temporary anyways. Connect that to there. support should be here I think there'll be one more in should be two in from the um, seam which should actually be there uh, double click Caledon double click And we need to deconstruct those two. And this stack thing should be one in on the next foundation. Ah, sigh. What are you doing here? That. pipeline junction cross. Let's see if I can get up here so I can build that properly. Uh, on that build, we need a pipeline support. Here a wasp. There are so many of them up there. They fly a long way away from their nests. We also need a pipeline support for this. And we can connect the pipe. And, uh, that was a very interesting uh, connection. There we go. Now I suspect I've built these pipes too close so that I can't power them from behind here. But uh, I will do so anyways. Let's build the power poles outside of the pipe. on that one uh, there and we need to connect this up to the power and 
now we have three refineries working, which should spike our power usage. This one is now creating the uh, heavy oil residue and the rubber. The oil seems to be flowing well, actually. Yeah, so no pumps needed. That is a good thing. Let's do the same with the uh, power on these. Could be on this angle. So there. And then of course we need to connect them. And I might just as well do that. And then upgrade these two power poles for now. These ones should now be producing plastic. Excellent. And our power network is definitely spiking quite heftily now. And again, I've connected up uh, 300 megawatts of power by just having these six refineries. Now, the next part of this is to deal with the uh, heavy oil residue. And I just need to figure out where I want to build the um, refineries involved for that. So I will pause the recording while I find the uh, correct location for those. I'll be right back. And here we are. I think I want to place them like this change of course but uh, having two spaces behind so that I can attach the pipes and uh, in three spaces here so that I can walk and or drive if necessary now these five refineries they are going to produce petroleum coke and that's because we have to use the heavy oil residue for something otherwise those refineries that we just set up they're going to stop and we are producing 90 heavy oil residue which means i've put down five of these and i'll clock the uh, final one in the line to 50 percent which then means that we are producing 270 petroleum coke per minute out of 90. As you can see, it's 20, but it hasn't changed because we still doesn't update until it actually starts producing things. So this will now say 10, and then we have 80 over here. Now, I suppose I could do this off camera, but... Uh, doesn't really matter if the episode comes uh, a little long. So what I will do is I will put up some pipeline supports because these things don't snap to the uh, pipes. I'll, I'll use these pipeline supports as uh, the... Uh, I'll just jump on top of these and I'll use this as the... Um, snap point for the pipe so I can put down the junction notice how it doesn't snap unless you're actually standing on top of one of these which is interesting I'm not sure what the reasoning behind this is I dearly hope that they do fix it there we go now we can remove these, because we don't need them. And since we're only going to transport 90 of the heavy oil residue inside of these pipes, um, one pipe, one pipeline will suffice for this specific task. And in addition, well, if, if, if we actually get a pipe with 300, uh, heavy oil residue 
and need to add a secondary pipe, I would be uh, very surprised. Let's leave that. Actually, no. Let's not leave that. So we need to do the same thing here. Uh, this time I will uh, pause the recording. Uh, just in the interest of saving some time and not having the episode be too long with my meticulousness. I'll pause the recording and I will be back as soon as I've made the, um, the layout here. Okay, so I actually have to show how I do this, because this was very meticulous. Since we can't just build the pipe going straight out and then over there because of the belts. This is, uh, this was a rather interesting uh, little challenge. Uh, because when you put down a pipeline junction and you try to spin it, it doesn't spin uh, that direction which is what we needed to do in this specific instance. So I'm, to get the pipe straight, I'm using my precision part of the, uh, the precision button on my mouse, and I'm putting the junction as close to the entrance of the thing as possible, and uh, I'm hoping that that will work. Because then I want to have a pipe going like that. Of course, this will cause some issues. Um, because I can only connect one pipe. This is a very interesting conundrum. I suppose what I can do is build another pipeline. I out of uh, copper sheets. Did I bring some in the uh, tractor? I, I did. Yes, I did. Just grab all of those. Need them. Now, do the same thing again. Use my precision mouse button and get it. Uh, oh, gods. Well, okay. I don't really mind if it looks like that, but that means that I have to place down two of those junctions over here. This one, we want to be... No, can I place two of them on top of them? Probably not. not, without having to do uh, major uh, stuff, so we want this one to be that way. Come on, come on, there we go. And then we place another one, which we want to be that way. Now we can remove these uh, additional pipes, and then we put a pipeline top there and connect it to the top there and the belts can pass underneath yep so that's that okay I'll pause the recording again and uh, see you when I'm done with this very interesting uh, build <laughs> this is looking very curious so this is the result of this uh, very interesting little exercise. Are you? There you are. I have one pipe going behind here and then one pipe going out there and then I added another junction here to make sure that I get a correct angle here and get it up to the second level. And I needed one in the middle and then connected to over here to another conveyor and then down and yeah it's quite the intricate little uh, thing that I've built here 
Now, all I need to do is connect up that to the uh, refineries over there, and uh, should have petroleum coke coming out. While I do that, I will again pause the recording. So, here we are again, and I've... Uh, couldn't get a perfect angle like this on that pipe. Oh, that's fine. Have the pipe going this way. Now, you may notice there is not much fluid in here, but the reason for that is that all of these refineries have stopped, so there is no pressure being generated onto the uh, fluid inside the pipes, so it's quite a low amount in here. That will change as soon as I connect the belts up to these refineries and uh, start storing the plastic and the rubber. Then we have it coming down here, and uh, now it's just a matter of connecting up the power. And again, I will pause the recording while I do that. And I would also like to demonstrate how I build this part to make it look uh, uniform. As you can see, I'm stacking murders on top of one another. It means that I've got a flying murders, of course. I'll just remove the... Uh, excess ones like so and then we'll connect the merger to the uh, conveyor stack poles and we will make conveyor lifts going down so that we can pick up product from the factories and voila now we have plastic going in To, I actually meant it to go to the other one. I'll uh, change that because I want it to go to the first one, to the second one. Sadly, you can't stack them. So, just to show, demonstrate what I'm doing. Sure. Uh, well, way cool. Has to be there and connect up like that, and it should be yep, rectangle. So we need to stack. This is the first, second, third, and fourth. We go on the fourth, not the fifth. Let's remove these as well. Just a matter of aligning, using the uh, the lines, of course, and always make sure that the exit point goes to the correct side. So, um, they might have patched that, but uh, I've had some uh, bizarre things where the arrows just randomly flips around. And let's make sure that we connect these things, and I'm just using an MK1 belt here because we are producing 60, so... One belt should be fine. Now remove the excess mergers. And gone. Then. Oh, that's not going to work at all with the pipes. Darn. Uh, uh. Okay, let me just think about that. So, the solution was, of course, to move these uh, further out, and now we're producing plastic. And I want to take a look at the power grid. Too bad, spiking at 600. That's even with those refiners working, I believe. Yeah, they're not working currently because there's not enough heavy oil residue coming throughout the pipeline yet. But now I need to do the same with uh, these. That means I have to remove these old ones. So I'll just pause the recording again and uh, do those as well.
And here we go. Now we are producing rubber. That is 60 rubber. And we are producing 60 plastic per minute. This, but I think there is something wrong. Something, yeah, that's what's wrong. It's a good idea to actually connect up to the actual containers as well. There we go. Now we're producing and storing. And we're also producing uh, heavy oil residue. I don't know how much of that actually comes into the pipe, but... Um, should be producing 90 per minute, so I'm... The flow rate is about 30 cubic meters per minute. But these should now be producing... Uh, uh, spiking pretty high now, 780. These should now be producing... Petroleum coke. Not sure why it's not doing anything, frankly. Oh, of course, it's full. They stack in two hundreds. Okay, so for the final part, I'm going to pause the recording again. Um... What's important here is that I'm going to use the petroleum coke to actually uh, fuel a few coal generators. But petroleum coke doesn't have the same megajoule output as uh, regular coal. Coal has a megajoule output of 300, whereas petroleum coke is 180. And uh, that, of course, means that the um, formula for... Uh, how many coal generators you can build on petroleum coke is slightly different. So instead of having um, eight coal generators, thanks to some uh, advice that I got, because uh, this type of mathematics is not my uh, forte, I must admit. So thank you to the guys in the Discord server who helped me with this. Um, took uh, 180 divided by 300 and then multiplied by 8 which gave me the number 4.6 so I'm going to build 5 coal generators and then clock one of them down to 66% or maybe 65 I'm not sure if what's the optimum there but uh, the coal generators I plan on building up here so I'll just get around to doing that and uh, we'll get the coal up sure if I should build them I'll probably build them from the fence here and and this direction I don't want them to interfere with the uh, the road that I've built but I'll do that and I'll get right back to you in a moment Ooh, I'm very glad that I done that camera because that was uh, quite finically I will show what was the finically part okay let's just connect up these uh, that lift now we have petroleum coke being produced and uh, ushered off to the lift and then into generators up here um, this pipe system here was quite yeah uh, my brain just didn't want to uh, wrap itself around how I should get the pipes and the belts into the generators. But this uh, new floating splitter and merger thing is something that you'll probably see in my uh, factories. Okay, so here you can now see that instead of burning one every four seconds, it's burning one every 2.4 seconds. So... If we divide 60 by 2.4, this facility... Well, that doesn't seem right. Actually, it is. 
So 60 divided by 2.4 means that it's using 25 petroleum coke per minute. And if I divide 240 by 25, I get 9.6. So my mouth was off. I can actually support 9.6 generators with my, or rather 10, because I'm actually, I think I'm producing 270. Sixty, twenty, two hundred and forty would be, yeah, I'm producing 270. If I do 60 by 2.4 is 25. If I do 270 by 25, I get 10.8. Interesting. Means I need more water stuff. But I'm not going to be bothering or messing around with that now. As you can see, we have increased the capacity of the network. And the entire point of this exercise is that everything inside of this as long as these are producing power that is because if they stop producing power then these will what's it called oh my brain really isn't cooperating today back up Eesh. this will back up because they will be uh, filled with the uh, petroleum coke that stacks in stacks of 200 and when that happens, uh, the uh, heavy oil residue pipeline will eventually be saturated when these refineries here are full on the uh, fluid part. So as long as you're using the power, then this is fine, but... If you're not, then it will stop producing plastic and rubber. Keep that in mind. You need to actually be using the power. It might be worth disconnecting some of the coal generators and make sure that you're just using the petroleum coke coal generators until you are absolutely certain that you have enough of both plastic and rubber. I will probably make a tutorial out of this because as far as I can tell, it's the most um, simple way I've, I've been looking at all the formulas. This was the most uh, convenient way that I could think of until you get the heavy oil production technology, which will then allow you to uh, put the uh, overflow of fluids into containers those containers, I believe you can put into awesome things, of course, simplifies this process greatly. But there you are. I've made a little refinery setup. And it's actually self-powered through the uh, volume coke generating refineries. And there are four oil wells out there, as shown in the uh, former... Uh, the previous episode keep in mind that those those four uh, oil pumps they use 40 megawatts of power each as well i'm not using full saturation on them at the moment so i can build more of these refineries if i want to then i have to increase the amount of petroleum coke refineries and then amount of coal generators and so forth at least until i get the awesome sinks but there is I don't see any reason not to be uh, making power out of this currently. I mean, why not? I don't really need coupons at the moment, so... Well, I need hundreds of coupons if I want the statues, but uh, that'll be sometime in the future anyways. But for now, I think that's it. Questions, comments, anything? Uh, feel free to leave that in the uh, comment sections always appreciate it and uh, I'm not 
100% sure what's going to happen in the next episode. One thing that I do know is that I will go to the um, to the uh, space elevator. No, not the space elevator, but I will go to the hub and I will uh, research stuff that requires plastic. But I won't do that on camera because I need to figure out what the best next step for our uh, way through is. I'll just jot down on uh, yeah, notes what I have researched in the hub. Tell you the beginning of the next. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all then.